guys, I have a headache. Uh. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are unfamiliar with me, my name is Jessica and I talk about all things cruelty free, including lifestyle, food, fashion, makeup, skincare, a little bit of everything, <laughs> and also just like what I wanna talk about. I hope that you'll subscribe before you leave. So yeah, today I wanted to talk to you guys about my Black Friday slash holiday wish list. I usually buy like a bunch of stuff for myself and for friends and family during Black Friday so I can get a good deal. Basically, I wait all year round and when I find something that's like a little more than what I'm willing to pay for, I'll just write it down on my Black Friday wish list and buy it then. So I'm just going to be sharing that with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's just hop right into it. So the first thing on my wish list is Killstar. I've never ordered anything from Killstar, believe it or not. But the first thing I have on my list is a Killstar hat and I will put a picture but it is a faux wool hat, which is really hard to come by, but I believe all of Killstar's hats are actually vegan wool, you know, not wool, but they look like wool. And then I believe that most of their other products that are leather are also faux leather. And I also have a wallet on my wish list. I will put also put a picture over here. My wallet was from Loungefly and it broke like within six months. So I've been looking at this wallet for a while. It looks nice and spacious. I want it. <laughs> That's about it. As far as clothes, I don't usually purchase clothes online just because I always end up getting the wrong size. So I'm not going to purchase any clothes right now from Killstar, but in the future, maybe. Moving on. This has been on my wish list for like the last couple months since they came out and these are the Doc Martens, the Vegan Jaden Moto Boots 2, I think is what they're called. They look just like the perfect Doc Martens that I have been hoping that Doc Martens has come out with and I'm hoping that they have a killer Black Friday sale because I am jumping on that website first thing before anything else I'm going to hopefully purchase the Doc Martens. The next thing on my wish list is a palette, an eyeshadow palette from Colored Rain, and that is the Vivid Pigment Palette. It is vegan, it's cruelty free. When it first came out, it had one shade that was not vegan, but now all of the shades are vegan, and it actually says that it's going on um, pre order. I don't know, but it says that it will ship early 2020. But I've been wanting it for a while, and if they're having a Black Friday sale anyway, I'm going to purchase it. I usually do order from Colored Rain when they have a Black Friday sale. Most of their products are vegan, they're cruelty free, so I do like to support them when I can. And it's also a black owned brand, and they work with a lot of black influencers and people of color, so I do like supporting them when I can. Next thing on my list is a bag from Sans Beast and I saw Jessica Hayes post about it and then I saw Molly from Fashion Veggie post about one of their bags as well so I kind of knew like I think I need to have this bag. I believe all of their bags are 100% vegan. I'm just having like a hard time picking one out. And this is like the last thing that's on my list. It's like if I have extra money and it's something that's not going to be super, super expensive. Like I'm not sure how much the bag is gonna be. I just know that I really want to invest in a nice bag. So I believe the one that I'm gonna go for is the Noir Petite Beast Bucket Bag, which is 250. So if I can get that for a little bit of a discount, then I'll probably just go ahead and get one. I've been carrying around a Lush tote bag for the last like three years and I feel like it's just time for an upgrade with my purse. So that's definitely going on my wish list. The next thing are some hiking boots from Will's Vegan Shoes. They are one of the only companies that I've seen have vegan hiking boots and I've been looking for vegan hiking boots for a long time. How many times can I say vegan hiking boots? I saw Rianne from Wife Life post these boots and I knew that I 
fond of them. I don't hike like too super often, but I feel like every time I go hiking, I don't have the proper footwear. And that is because I don't have good hiking shoes because they're so hard to find vegan and I just don't want to purchase leather. So I think I'm definitely going to just take the plunge and purchase these. Next thing on my wish list is the Milk Makeup Foundation. I think it's the Flex Foundation Stick and then their matte foundation. I just want to try them for myself. Everyone I know seems to enjoy those two foundations and Milk recently became Logical Harmony approved so I feel like this is the perfect time to try out some new makeup. So those are definitely going on my wish list. Next are two products from Sugar Pill. The first product is the eyeshadow called Taco, which is a bright white eyeshadow. I have been using the white from the Pastel Goth by Kat Von D palette, and that is obviously discontinued, and everyone has since canceled Kat Von D, so I, want, I wanted to find a replacement. So I'm hopefully going to be able to purchase the taco eyeshadow which if you saw the video of subscriber does my makeup I had Raphael here he did my makeup and he used that pigment well I'll just call it a pigment cuz it got it was freaking pigmented unlike any white eyeshadow I've ever used before it went over the black he was using like nothing he didn't have to put concealer over it or anything it just covered the dark eyeshadows so that is definitely an eyeshadow that I want but it's always sold out so I hope that they restock it for the Black Friday sale that they usually do I also want to buy the sugar pill fun size palette which is currently sold out on their website but I hope that they restock that one as well it is all vegan and you guys know how difficult it is to find vegan cruelty free palettes that are actually good quality. I think that Sugar Pill has a lot of really good eyeshadow palettes and I've seen really good reviews of this one so it's definitely on my list. I would also like to try some of their eyelashes. They are not like super super pricey and they look freaking beautiful and kind of unlike any other lashes that I've seen before that are actually vegan and cruelty free they look like super dramatic and like not an everyday type of look but if you guys are looking for something to wear to like a special event they look like they are really nice eyelashes next on my list is a Nintendo switch it's something that I have been wanting for a while and to be honest if I'm being like 100% honest with you guys I don't even know how a Nintendo switch works but I know that a lot of people have them they look really cool and I just want like a new video game to play. I haven't had like a system to play in years. And my boyfriend and I were talking about getting them. So if I if we can find a good deal on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, then that is something that I would like to invest in. If you guys have a Switch, let me know if you like it, if you think it's a good investment, what games you like to play on it. I'm super excited to get a new game and to just like have something to do with someone else. Like the fact that my boyfriend is also going to get it, I'm really excited. I love playing video games with people and I love like Mario and all those types of games. So I'm a little bit old school when it comes to that, but I'm super excited about it. That is everything on my Black Friday, I guess, slash Cyber Monday slash holiday sale wish list please let me know what is on your wish list down below and hopefully we are able to get some pretty good deals this is the best time of year to buy stuff if you're looking to buy stuff but don't want to spend the year-round retail price for it oh if you guys don't already sign up for ebates get some cash back while you're shopping. I know that a lot of companies do increase cash back with Rakuten. I did a whole video about like how to make money on the internet and I did discuss a lot of apps with you guys 
but another one that I really like to use is called Drop. If you are doing any in-store shopping, I get points to get gift cards through when I shop at Target, Starbucks, Lyft, all of that kind of stuff. But also, if you guys are planning on picking anything up in store, I would highly suggest getting this app and also Dosh and using these apps to your full advantage of getting cash back. And I will leave my referral links down below for you when you sign up through my referral link when you use Drop, Dosh, Ebates, or Ibotta, you will get an incentive as well with Ebates. If you sign up and you spend over $25, you will get $10 credited back to your account and then also don't forget to add honey and check honey to see if you can stack coupon codes i do that every year and i do find really really good deals doing that but yeah so happy shopping you guys i hope that you have a fantastic black friday cyber monday and pay attention to my instagram stories i'm always like posting good deals that I find for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.